Psalm 68 verse 19 Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits even the God of our salvation Selah Matthew 6 verse 11 Give us this day our daily bread Luke 9 verse 23 And he said to them all If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Hebrews 3 verse 13 But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. So these scriptures were shared to help us to put things into perspective on a daily basis. And we know that our lives are filled with so many things um, that sometimes we just can't even put um, the things that we have to take care of on a list. The list itself will become overwhelming. But today I wanted to just focus on these four items on the list. And there are two of them that are benefits, daily benefits that we receive. Psalm 68 says that God daily loadeth us with benefits. So think about all those benefits that is deposited into our accounts every day. Daily benefits. Wow, that's exciting. And then Matthew 6, 11 is is actually, it's even though those benefits are daily loaded in Psalm 68, Matthew 6, verse 11 was more of us going to God to say, give us this day our daily bread. It's asking him for the benefits um, that we need. But both of those benefits are what we receive from God. One he loads automatically and one we just ask him for those benefits. Then in Luke, he said, if any man will come unto me, that we're supposed to follow him daily. So we, most of us, we're hooked to social media, We have different friends that we connect with. We have different groups that we follow. Why do we follow them? Well, for whatever those reasons are, hopefully they're good. Jesus is saying, follow him daily. Follow him. Listen to him. What does he have to say? What does he want us to do? What is it that he wants to show us? Are we going to love him today? So it's a daily relationship. And then it says in Hebrews, he said we are to exhort one another daily, meaning encourage each other so that we can stay focused. You know, whether it be an exercise group, you know, sometimes you fall off, uh, fall off the routine. But when you have a group and we encourage each other to stay on course so that we don't lose our way. So these are some of the things that Um, I wanted to share as a daily focus um, amidst the craziness of work, amidst the overwhelming uh, task of juggling family and overwhelmed with um, maintaining our homes and having a lot of stuff and uh, shopping endlessly to acquire things and in our daily routine of having fun let us not forget the key things that matter this scripture says lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt but where th- and where thieves break through and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal 
For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for your reminder. Thank you, God, for the daily benefits that you are loading up to each of our needs. So here we come to you, O God, asking you to supply what we need for daily bread, Lord Jesus. And even as we ask for ourselves, O God, we ask that you will help us to be good stewards of this time, this gift of time that you loaded to us today. Father, we pray that we will focus on what is meaningful and valuable, O God. Let us not be spendrifts and waste this precious time that we have been given. But let us use it wisely. Let us focus on what really matters. That we will not feel, if there is any emptiness in our hearts or in our lives, we ask God for you to fill it for us. Do not let us go astray, filling voids in our lives with things that does not matter. So we commit ourselves to you this day. We ask you, O oh God, to guide us through this day. And we thank you for your benefits that you have loaded onto us. So we ask you to give us what we need today to make it through every second, every minute, and every hour. And let the time that we have used today bring forth good fruit. Let it be pleasing in your sight. Help us to stay focused on what matters and re help us to avoid all the things that are just coming to steal the joy and peace from our lives. This we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen.